everyone so it's Thursday afternoon and that means it's science time and we're going to be carrying on learning about materials so this week we're going to be identifying materials again and comparing them when they're used for different things so by the end of this lesson you should be able to identify a material and talk about its properties talk about how different materials are used for the same jobs and talk about how one material can be used for lots of different jobs let's have a look so before we get started with today's learning, you might just want to remind yourself about what we did last week. So remind yourself, what does material mean? What does that word mean? What does the word property mean? And think of some examples for each. If you want to pause the video and have some thinking time, and then we'll see what you think. So hopefully you've remembered what the word material means and you've remembered what a property is. So material is like what something's made out of. So for example, my cup that I've got here is made of plastic. It's a cup and it's made of plastic. And the properties are words to describe that material. So my cup is kind of transparent in places and other places are opaque. I'm trying to think what else I could say about my cup. It's waterproof as well, isn't it? So that the drink doesn't all leak out. So if you have a look at the pictures on the slide below, we have three different types of spoon and each spoon in the pictures is made of a different material. So we've got a metal spoon, we've got a wooden spoon and we've got a plastic spoon. OK. So why is it that all of these are all spoons, but they're all made of different things? And sometimes it's because they're used for different tasks, for different jobs. So let's have a think about these spoons that are all made of different materials and I would choose a spoon based on what I was going to be using it for. So I would use a metal spoon to eat soup because it's waterproof because soup's a bit wet isn't it. It's strong it's not going to flop about and it's rigid another, another word saying it's not going to flop about it's not flexible. I wouldn't use a plastic spoon to eat my soup because that can be a bit flexible and it becomes more flexible with the heat of the soup and that would just be awful. If I was going to make a cup of tea and I wanted to stir it, again I would use a metal spoon or a plastic spoon because they're both waterproof. I wouldn't want a paper spoon, that would be dreadful, I would have a spoiled cup of tea. So this is going to help you with your job that you've got to do on the activity sheet. We've got three bowls here. So the one on the grass is a plastic bowl. The one in the middle is a ceramic bowl. It's made of clay that's been he heated. And then we've got a paper bowl. So have a think, what are the properties of each of these different bowls? And what would, which jobs would you use each bowl for? So you could use my soup example, or if you were going to eat some cereal, which bowl would you use? If you were going to do some cooking, Think of when you might use each bowl when you've described its properties. And the same here as well. We've got two examples. These are both chairs, both made of different things. So have a think about what these chairs are made of, which materials and what are the properties of these two chairs? And once you've done that, have a chat with a grown up or someone at home. Which chair would you prefer to sit on and why? Which chair do you think would do its job best. So what you need to do now is you need to find the activity sheet that's materials and their suitability and you'll see it's got space to write about three different bowls and two different chairs. So if you want to you can go back in this video and use the pictures that I've used to describe the three bowls and the two chairs or maybe you've got three bowls made of three different things at home and two chairs made of two different things. It's entirely up to you what you want to describe. If it's easier to do the things at home, that's fine. If you can't find the things, use the pictures in my video. Then what you need to do is on the activity sheet, you need to say which each bowl and each chair is made of, which material has been used to make each item and describe some of the properties of that material. Now you were amazing at properties last week, so I think you're going to be really good at that bit. Then, once you've done that, you need to decide which bowl and which chair does its job best. So you need to think about the properties. What do you think is the best? Maybe you want to explain what you're using it for and why that bowl and chair would do the best job. So once you've written that all down on your sheet, you can email it to us. The email address is on the 
slide or you can show it to a grown up if you're at school. So remember, we're thinking about what these objects are made of, what their properties are and which one is the best for its job, because different objects can be made of different materials. If you need any help, we'll be in the chat. If you want to go back and watch this video again, you can do. And if you want to ask to look back at the pictures, you can do or use your own objects. It's entirely up to you. So have fun in exploring these objects and we'll see you later.